and I'm going to present to you now the most interesting images and analyze them concerning black identity and history. And yeah, what the performance mainly does is it reclaims the black narrative and uh, shows what it's like to be black in a modern society, transitioning through history and um, yeah, all the certain aspects that uh, are connected to that. And in the next few minutes, I'm going to show you how the performance reclaims the black narrative. So, oh, sorry. Um, so this is the first um, scene of the performance, and it starts with Kendrick Lamar walking on the stage dressed as a prisoner with others behind him and uh, in chains. And that's where he starts performing the Black of the Berry. The scene reminds of the slave trade and how it, the mass incarceration of black males is a form of modern day slavery. Um, and it also implies that even though slave trade was abolished in 1833 and slavery was abolished in 1865, black people are still not entirely free today. And in the background you can see that um, one of the members of his band is playing the saxophone. And the saxophone is obviously an instrument that is often used in jazz and blues. So music that evolved as an African-American uh, music genre. And that alludes to the Harlem Renaissance, a very important social, cultural, and also artistic movement for black people in the 1920s. And uh, yeah, that's where people were able to gain a lot of pride. Formation also features um, multiple identities of Southern blackness by portraying images that hurt to Southern um, aesthetic and hurt, um, such as cowboys, you cannot see this on the slide here, but also wig shops, um, which so probably stand for, as a symbol for black businesswomen. Also you can see elements such as African roots or black spirituality or corsets as Beyonce is wearing one of the pictures. And um, as you can see on the slides as well, Beyonce herself morphs into several personas of the Southern black women, creating a particular focus on the identity of um, black identity as a woman, in this case, Southern woman. And the image of black woman is um, accompanied by phrases such as, you know you're that bitch when you call all the conversation, or ladies, now let's get information, which both operate as signify for many black women who have felt marginalized um, in their own movement or environment. They have felt marginalized in movements, although they are um, often at the forefront of movements such as the Black Lives Matter movement. History, however, has shown that women often do not hold the same positions as male members of past and present civil rights movement. And besides highlighting the female experience, Beyonce also included, um, as the Burden journalist Rita McFadden describes, sh um, many shades and shades of black bodies, creating an identity in which class and ethnic differences melt away in the face of a common struggle. Since there often are de different definitions of class of blacks defined by, for example, skin color or um, yeah, the origin of their work. Uh, the nature of the work as described by Orly Clerge, an assistant professor at Tufts University. At this moment, Childish Gambino comes into view from behind. He is shirtless with his back facing the camera. As the beat comes in, he turns to face the, to face the viewer and begins to dance in our direction. In these first few seconds, Childish Gambino is setting the stage of his video by introducing imagery long associated with black identity. His grown-out hair and topless torso draws our attention to his black body. He is wearing gold chains, which many associate with contemporary rap and hip-hop culture. His isolation dance movements, seen in his shoulders, chest, and pelvis, evoke styles found in African dance. These styles are also recognized here as he does the Guara Guara, which is a South African dance. And we have seen movements reminiscent of the cakewalk dance, which was a pre-Civil War dance originally performed by slaves on plantation grounds as we um, already learned a little bit about today, and that was judged by plantation owners. As Gambino recalls African diaspora in his styles of movement, the camera zooms into his face, which contorts in expressions that evoke minstrel imagery from the 19th and 20th century. These shows, often performed in blackface, perpetuated negative black stereotypes and thus suppressed African Americans from sharing space in white society. 